the power is out. Let's do a comic book review by candlelight. All right, so I'm cheating. This is a flashlight. I mean, the candles are still here, but they don't really put off that much light. The candles really aren't for light sources nowadays. At least, I mean, you'd have to like seek those kind out. They're not the normal, most candles are for scent now, wouldn't you yeah. say? Yes, yes. All right, this is Shadow Hawk. Um, Issue number four. Are you familiar with the image, company Image? I've Comics? heard of the name, but that's about All right, it. so Image Comics was started by a group of artists from Marvel Comics. Uh, Jim Lee, you've heard of him? Yes. Uh, Todd McFarlane. Mm hmm Creator Spawn. Yes. That's probably one you're most familiar with be just because of pop culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eric Larson, who created this guy, Savage Dragon. Jim Valentino, who created this Savage Hawk guy. Um... Or Shadowhawk. I think Savage Hawk's a different character. Sorry, Nighthawk. Uh, anyways. Uh, who else? Wilch Protasio was a founder, but he didn't start a company at the time. He didn't start like a, a studio or whatever. Who else? Uh, Rob Liefeld. Have you heard of him? I've heard that name. Who am I missing? Uh, Mark Silvestri. Is that it? Is that all of them? It doesn't matter. This is Shadowhawk. Number four, it uh, is a crossover between Shadowhawk and Savage Dragon. And I didn't read any of this stuff when I was a kid. And I have yet to like really d dive deep into most of the early Image comics. Mm -hmm. I've read uh, Image comics that are more recent, but never, uh, never any of this stuff until really quite recently. I, I considered picking up a Savage Dragon like the first a trade paperback from back in the day uh, a couple of times but never got around to it i just i don't know i didn't i never got i just i don't know i just chose not to that's all i don't have to i don't have to give you guys a reason anyways uh but i have through the magic of cheap comics uh very inexpensive comics like this one 25 cents i have been reading more image stuff from early on and i've actually been enjoying it including this one this is Savage Dragon. He's a cop, and he has been sent to whatever city Shadowhawk is a, is a vigilante in. And Shadowhawk, like, breaks people's necks and stuff. He's, like, hyper-violent. And so Savage Dragon, a cop, is going to stop him. And you can see the, uh, the artwork. I think I talked about this a little bit before um, in another pickup video or something where I went through some of the comics I got for 25 mm -hmm. cents. But I didn't really review it at the time. Silvestri, who did not have anything to do with this comic, sorry, Jim Valentino, who drew this comic, was probably the, the least popular of the image creators at the time, but his art is, like, really solid, and it's probably m more like the, the house style of Marvel at the time, and there's not that much that wows it, but then I saw this page. It's uh, very dynamic. Yeah, and I was, I really liked it. It's not as, like, overblown as like a Rob Liefeld splash page or a, uh, uh, even a Todd McFarlane page or something. But there is something to be said about this. Like here's a splash page, but there's still a story being told and you've got really good pose here, really good dynamic shot. And I like this almost like Kirby crackle and the swirl and everything. You don't see stuff like this all that often. It, I like the coloring back then. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of want to do my comics and that's that kind of coloring. Um, He's awake. What? The child is awakened because it's a thousand degrees in our house. Might he might be escaping that his room. Oh We're no. Scared. We're scared. Could be. So. Yeah, I, I'm actually like. Look at these speed lines. Like manga esque shot here. But. That's pretty cool. Like, good, uh hand punches out at you almost like a 3d movie it's overall it's like really good Here, let me put the flashlight in my mouth as i turn the page <laughs> like this one look at that like he's oppressed by the light this dark character and the light is causing him to shrink away it's all like really solid and it makes me want to read more of valentino's work 
at these buildings. I like that. Uh, good backgrounds. Uh, it chooses when to include detail in his panels and not. And uh, I like how he draws Savage Dragon more than how Eric Larson draws it. Even though I, I admire the cartooniness. I admire the, uh, the cartooniness of Eric Larson's work. Uh, there's something to be said about a dude who just draws him straight up. At least I assume he drew this. Uh, Jim Valentino drew it. I didn't see anything about Eric Larson drawing it. Uh, yeah, well, this comic is actually pretty cool. A good fight between the two of them. It causes both characters to, to think about things and to uh, express their ideals and who they are and uh, characterization. And these early crossovers from Image were, were actually pretty cool to, to establish a bigger world in the minds of, of fans, but not necessarily have to stick by some sort of strict continuity or or, or uh, oversight or anything like that. It actually worked. And I, I hope that more people do it. I know that some independent creators do it from time to time. But the idea of just hinting at a bigger world, and they're not really worrying too much about whether or not your continuity is all the same. I think that's the way to go for uh, the future of the comics, if you will. Yes, this has been Comic Reviews by Candlelight.